Hey guys, uh, this Mike here. In today's video, um, I'm going to bring you the way, uh, this is the Palm Pre Plus by the way. Uh, I'm going to bring you the way on how you actually flash a modem on your Palm Pre phones. Um, ultimately why we are doing this, um, if you have a WebOS device, uh, most probably the Palm Pre, Palm Pre Plus or even Palm Pre 2 that have uh, problems doing WebOS Doctor. And, and most of the time, they will stop roughly around 57-58%, uh, which mean uh, they have issues with the modem, which uh, the web voice doctor have issues flashing the modem and stuff means either your modem file is corrupted or somehow or rather you did a web voice, web voice doctor previously but cut it half, cut off halfway and stuff like that, which causes all the problem. Um, so you can actually solve this by flashing the modem so that the web voice doctor can finish completely. If not, once you web doctor up to 57 or 58%, you still can boot up your phone. They will actually reach a screen where uh, you can only see a cloud kind of background and stuff. I think one of my subscribers has that issue. So um, I'm going to do a video today uh, on how you actually flash the modem to your, uh, I mean like flash update or whatever you call that, uh, the modem back to this phone so that you can actually flash it using, uh, I mean like you can actually revert it back to stop using the Bad Boys Doctor. I've previously encountered this problem, that's why um, I'm just going to show you guys how you do it and hopefully it can help some of you guys who are having problems with that. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, how do we boot this phone into recovery mode? So basically what you can do now is just to, uh, is just to power down the phone first. So you just need to shut down. Once you shut down the phone, we will do the boot to recovery. Okay, so the next thing you will need to do is to actually open up the uh, battery case. So in order to go into recovery mode, you would need to actually take off the battery case and, um, and take out the battery. So, um, and then you need to open up the slots for you to slot in the cable. So, this, is, this cable is now connected to your PC. So what you need to do is just to slot it in and you should see a you should see a battery sign appearing here so what you can do now is to push the volume up button and reinsert back the battery right the battery should insert this way so you press the volume up button and you put back the battery itself that should brings you to recovery mode so once you are in recovery mode we will see how you want to connect the machine to your device for you to transfer the file okay guys um, before we start I just want to make sure that you guys know what what needs to be done um, unless your phone is completely useless at this point of time uh, this should be the last resort when you are doing a modem update because things might go wrong and you are having a rear you shouldn't try this because um, it will most probably break your phone so like what I said, uh, if you're having any other kind of phones like Palm Pre, Palm Pre 2, Palm Pre Plus and stuff, you're welcome to try it if you have no other ways of solving your problem. This is the final way, right? Uh, so if it breaks your phone, then I'm, I'm sorry. But like what I said, um, please follow the step closely so that everything will run smoothly, right? So first of all, what you need to do is to make sure you are taking the correct uh, WebOS Doctor image from for your phone itself so please select i'll leave a link, a link down below where you can download uh web os doctor image from whichever uh, phone model you have but please make sure that you choose the correct one because what you need to do next is to extract out a file from there right so for example for my case what i'm using is the uh, palm pre plus firmware so what you need to do is open up it i use 7zip you can use whatever uh, archiver you want you just open the archive and you should be able to see all, all this stuff here go to resources and see and find a webos.tar as you can see now right so what you need to do is just extract out this webos.tar file then on the webos.tar itself you need to open it up with the archiver again to pull out the tar file that you need for your modem update right so you can open archive and uh, as you can see there are like a list of stuff so what you are looking at is the uh, tar file 
So if you look at it, um, there's only two. So you can see one of them is the uh, UTMS firmware.tar, another one is the CDMA EBT1 firmware.4. For my, it depends on what phone model do you have, right? Like for my case, it's Palm Pre Plus, it's a GSM model. So this is the firmware that I need. If you're on a CDMA model, then this is the firm, uh, this is the uh, modem uh, tar file that you need. So for my case, I actually extracted the castle, this, this castle UTMS firmware.tar to the directory that I want, which is this one, right? So once you are done with this step, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, the next step is to copy the tar file, the uh, firmware, modem firmware into your device itself. So if your device is still functional, you can actually just uh, connect your device to the uh, using a USB cable and enable USB drive and just copy the file to the media internal storage uh, portion of your phone. But for my case, or most, almost everyone, I mean, if your web OS doctor is stuck at 56%, you couldn't even boot your phone to connect to the PC itself. So the next thing you can do is to um, boot into the recovery mode and and do something manually, right? Which I'll show you now how you want to copy this file into your phone directory. So okay, the next thing we need to do is to extract out this U image, uh, U image from the webos.tar as well. This will allow you to connect to your phone um, for you to copy in the file. So what you can do is open up the archive for webos.tar and the image itself is here. So what you can do now is to just extract this image out to the folder that you need over there, right? So once that is done, then we'll move on to the next step. So if I go to F, go to CD WebOS, CD WebOS Tools, and what you can do now is to run the Recon Boot Image. So once you do that, your phone should be booted with the HP logo. So you can see now, once you have uh, done the uh, Novacom Booty Boot, then you should be in this screen now. So when you're in this screen, then we'll move on to the next step. So the next step is to go to your uh, Vader, WebOS, WebOS Tools. So this is the place where you have all this stuff. So you can now run WebOS Quick Install to make sure that you have the uh, connection. As you can see now, Palm Pre is connected. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is to actually transfer the um, firmware file into your phone. So what you can do is you can use the send file over here. So you just choose the uh, files that you want to transfer, which is the firmware file that we have. And you can actually just send it to slash TMP. And just send to device. Okay, once the file is transferred successfully, then you can proceed on to the next step. You, what you can do is just to open up a Linux command line to do this. Of course, um, it's advisable if you have other kind of Nova term, Nova terminal available, use that. But um, if you don't have anything set up and this is the only one you have, then you will need to make do with this, right? So what you can do now is to launch the uh, commands to do the firmware update. Okay, so this is the final step. So there's a few commands you can run. Of course, uh, you can start by running this pm modem updater minus f. And this name should be the tar file name of the firmware that you're gonna flash. So for my case, it's the GSM, so they're using this. If you're using CDMA, that should be another name. And if this runs properly, then, then you just leave it. If this doesn't, then you will need to run this first before you run this. I'll leave the link down below where you can download this uh, commands to do that so um, what you can do now is to just paste the command here and press enter and wait for it to finish if it finishes successfully then um, you are done then after that you can just proceed on with webOS doctoring your phone itself so just press enter Okay guys, uh, so you have done flashing your firmware and the process is completed. 
Okay, since everything is done now, what you can do is just unplug the power, okay, the cable itself, and just take out the battery, just close it off back. And of course, end of the day, if you want to flash the WebOS Doctor itself, then you'll need to reboot into recovery mode again. For my case, I'll just boot it up again as per normal. It's per normal since um, it's already doctored successfully previously. So, okay guys, uh, that is the step that is needed for you to actually uh, flash the modem. And for those who encounter WebOS Doctor issues when they are uh, doing the uh, restore back to stock for their palm pre phones, you can use the following step, but mostly it's only applicable for those that get stuck at 58 to 62 percent. So, because uh, they have problem actually uh, flashing the modem itself. So, if you have that issue and you have tried whatever ways that you can to restore your machine, but you can't get things done, so what you can do now is to the last resort you can do is to do a firmware uh, modem firmware update which i've done and um, now the phone is back to working condition so that's all for today guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if it does help you and you actually like what i'm doing then please subscribe to my channel and uh, hopefully i'll see you again soon bye